Mockups can make or break a product in your print-on-demand business. Today I'll show you several methods for creating these mockups in Canva. So let's jump in. What's up guys, it's Trent, and today we're looking at how to create mockups in Canva. I'll show you a couple of different methods and you can choose which one you like based on your products and the style you want to achieve. So first, let's look at Canva's own mockups. And we can access these by clicking the apps button over here, and then we can search for the app called mockups. Now I think this used to be called smart mockups, but now it's just mockups. So I'll click on this. And if we scroll down, we see we have tons of options here. There are different categories from smartphones to apparel, computers. If you see a category you like, you can click see all to browse more of them. And you can click the back button here to go back to the original list. Now I like the apparel option here. I'll click see all. And if you scroll down, we have tons of options here for t-shirts and sweatshirts and hoodies. So I like this one here, so I'll click on it and it adds it to my canvas and I can resize it so it fits the whole screen. Now, if you're selling this product, you definitely wanna make sure the image looks like the product you're actually selling. So be sure to verify that. Now I can add my design to this mockup. So you can add an existing photo or you can upload your own design. I'll click upload for my own design. And I'll click upload files here. I'll navigate to the design on my computer here and I'll click open. And my image has been uploaded. Now what I can do is click and drag my image over my mockup here and I'll let go and it places the image in the mockup. Now you're probably gonna to wanna to customize this. So to do that, you can double click your mockup here. I'll do that. And now we have this tool over here to change the placement of our design. So I can move the design up. And if you wanna see this reflected in your mockup, you have to click apply changes. So you saw it moved up there. We have these options to fill and fit the design. So if I click fill, it'll take my image and make it cover the whole area. I'll click apply changes. That's not really that great with a text design, but maybe with a pattern based design, it could be good. Let's go back to fit. And that's just gonna take our image and make sure the whole thing is fitting in the area. We also have these automatic alignment options here. So I can align it to the top, the bottom. I could align it to the right, left, and so forth. But I'll make it fit the whole area. I can also flip my text if I wanted to. Again, doesn't make that much sense with text, but maybe with an artistic design, it would look cool. And finally, we have the color options. So this is gonna change the color of our t-shirt. So I'll click this here. And I can choose something like this teal. And if I click apply changes, you can see the change takes effect. Now I know a lot of you are using Printify to make your t-shirts and sometimes you wanna match the color in your Printify t-shirt with your Canva mock-up. Let me show you how you can do that. I'm just on a t-shirt here in Printify. I'll click start designing. So let's change a color here. So I'll select this tropical blue color here and maybe I want this color to be the color in my mock-up. So I'll press print screen on Windows and I'll click this drop down here and I'll choose rectangle. And I'll just grab my shirt here. Let's go back to our design in Canva. I'll paste this here. I just want to put this in the corner as a color reference. Now I'll double click on my mock-up. I'll click this color picker here. Now I'll click this rainbow circle. And with the eyedropper, I can actually choose any color I want on my canvas. So I'll click this here. I'll choose this blue here. Then I'll click apply changes. And now we have a blue shirt. Now, as always, you're going to want to make sure this blue is actually accurate to what's printed on your shirt. So make sure that works. But if you want to get that color from Printify, this is one way to do it. Now, one thing you may want to do is change the background of this mock-up. So the way you can do that is click share, copy to clipboard, and then click copy to clipboard again. Now I'm going to click off. And I'm going to add a new page. Now I'm going to right click. I'm going to say paste. I'll resize my image here. Now this is just an image. It's not a mock-up anymore. And because it's an image, we can use the background remover tool. So I'll click edit image here and I'll click background remover. And it did a pretty good job of removing the background. So now I can go and add another background if we like. I'll click photos. Let's say beach. So I'll drag this in. Now it covered the whole image. Now I'll click position and I'll make sure to send it to the back. Now if the lighting doesn't look good on your model, you can click on them. Then go to edit image. You can go to adjust. And you can change the brightness to make it fit in a little bit better. Maybe like that. So that looks a little bit better. So there we've done a background replacement. Now, whether you can replace the background is really gonna depend on how isolated the model is from the background. So some of these, it wouldn't work too well. For example, this one here, you can see the woman is sitting down, so it might not take the background out as well. And the same thing with some of these other ones where they're interacting with objects like laptops or bikes, it might not remove the background as cleanly. But usually when the person is just standing by themselves and not touching anything, it does a pretty good job of removing the background. Now you can find additional mockups for Canva on other websites. I'm here on Creative Fabrica and I found a bunch of them by searching for Canva mockups. 
I'll put a link down in the description below if you want to check out this site. But as I scroll down, you can see there's lots of ones for Canva here. Let me show you how to use these. So this here is one I like. You can see it has some t-shirts, has some flat lay mockups here. So first I want to download it. So I'll click download to get it onto my own computer. I'll put it in a folder here and I'll save it. So I downloaded the zip file. Let me unzip it. I'll right click on it and I'll say extract all. I'll click extract. So now inside here, I can see the mockups it gave me. Now I'll open this in a graphics editing program. I'll show you what they look like. You can see they're actually transparent images. So we have a background and we have this transparent area, the shape of a t-shirt. And there's also some light transparent areas that kind of give a shadow effect. So let's go to Canva and upload this file to it. So the easiest way to use this file is to click create design and then just click import file. So I'll click import file. I'll browse to it on my computer. And I like this one here, one.png. So I'll click open. I'll say use a new design. And I'll just say custom size. It'll pick the resolution here, 3,500 by 3,500. And I'll say create new design. Now we can see that we have this white t-shirt here. And the reason it's white is because the background of our document is white. We have a semi-transparent image and the background of our document is white. So if I click on my image here, I can click position. Then you can go to the layers tab. So the top layer is my t-shirt here and the bottom layer is the background of my document. So with this background selected, I can choose the color here and whatever color I choose will be the color of my t-shirt. I'll choose this light blue just so we can see what effect it's having. So let's click that. So we'll go with this light blue t-shirt here. Now I want to add my design to this. So once again, I'll click uploads. Here's the design I uploaded before. I'll click and drag it into my image. I'll put it right there. But the problem right now is that this image is actually on top of my mockup. And I want it to be behind so I can actually get that shadow effect going. So once again, I'll click on position. And now you can see my design is on top of my mockup. Let me drag it so it's below it. Then I'll let go. And now you can see we've got this shadow effect there. And in fact, if you want to add a little more realism, you can click on the transparency here. And I'll just dial down a little bit. And it looks a little more realistic there. But I can still reposition my design if I want. Get it in the right place. Maybe resize it a bit if that's not accurate to what it's really like. Now, sometimes when you have multiple images on top of each other, it's tough to select the one you want. If you run into this problem, just remember to click position and you can access the individual elements through the layers tab here. A lot of times when you have things overlapping, this layers tab is the easiest way to select things. I can also change the lightness and vibrance of my image. So I'll select my image here. I'll click edit image. And this is the mockup it's affecting. I'll click adjust. And maybe I want it to be a little bit brighter. I'll scroll down. Maybe I want a little more vibrance. I'll click off. So we've given our mock-up here a little more unique style. And if we don't like that blue, we can always go back and change it to white. So once again, I'll click on my image, click position on the layers. Make sure you select the background. I'll click the color and let's change it back to white. And here we have our final result. Now, sometimes you have an image that doesn't have any transparency at all. It's just literally a picture of a person in a t-shirt or it's a picture of a mug or some other product that you want to make a mock-up for. Let me show you how you can use this to make a mock-up. Now I have this image here that I found on Unsplash. Let me upload it to Canva. Once again, I'll click create design and I'll import from a file. I'll select that PNG. I'll click open. I'll use in a new design, custom size. I'll say 1964 by 2455 and create new design. So once again, I'll go to my uploads here. I'll click my image here. I'll just move it off the side a bit. I'll drag my design over here. I'll let go. I'll click this bottom image and I'll put it back into place. Now I can do is select my design here. Once again, I can resize it to the correct area. Zoom in and I'll put it here. Now this is kind of a basic way to do a mock-up, but we can make it look a little more realistic. I'll select the design here and I'll click transparency and I'll just dial it down a little bit and I'll click off. And that's gonna make it look a little more natural. And that's a trick you can do with a lot of mock-ups, whether it's a mug, a pillow, or even a poster on a wall. So if you have an existing image, you want to turn it into a mock-up. It's really just a matter of putting your graphic on there and changing the opacity a little bit. Be sure to check out my Canva playlist for more Canva tutorials. And if you have any topics you'd like to see covered, feel free to leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.